Hey, and thanks for watching. I'm Dave from D-Walls Automotive, and this is our monthly tech tip. Uh, summer is here, so just a few tips for people before you head out on the roads. Uh, recommend always going through and just double checking uh, fluid levels, check your air pressure, especially check your wipers. We've had some pretty severe storms this summer. Um, some things I do recommend, uh, if your air conditioning doesn't seem like it's cooling properly, uh, take your home garden hose, you know, no high pressure car wash hoses, but rinse out the radiator and the air conditioning condenser, and that's typically behind your grill. That'll help the car air conditioning work more efficiently and also help the car to cool more effectively. Uh, Underhood temperatures can reach in excess of 240, 250 degrees, so uh, the more efficient the cooling system works, the better it is. It's less wear and tear and everything else. Uh, strongly recommend testing your battery before you head out on a road trip. Uh, the heat really does cause the uh, battery fluid to evaporate. It can also cause corrosion, which would either lead to a no start or a battery, battery failure. Uh, oftentimes batteries around our area where we have cold winters and hot summers only last about 51 months on average. Uh, so just something to be important to uh, keep in mind. Uh, also keep a close eye on tire pressures. Uh, most cars do have tire pressure monitoring systems which um, inform you of the pressures. Um, just make sure that they are within the factory specifications. Air does expand about one pound per 10 degrees so cooler mornings, uh, long road trips will see tire pressures expand five to seven pounds can actually affect the tire wear. Um, also make sure that they're not low. Um, hot weather and low pressure can lead to blowouts and tire failure. Um, one thing I do recommend checking is verify that your lug nuts are not swollen, especially if you do have a flat on the side of the road. The spare tire kit that you have with your vehicle is designed to fit the lug nuts as they were designed. Uh, if they swell from corrosion, it can cause the socket not to fit. Something like this can occur, whereas the lug nut swells, the tool can't fully remove the lug nut. So oftentimes, most lug nuts, to save money, the car manufacturers will take a uh, steel lug nut and put a chrome cap on it for decoration, and that's where the corrosion can occur. It really, really creates a difficult situation if you can't take your flat tire off the car. Uh, we would recommend something more like this. This is a spline drive socket and lug nut. Um, this basically is a solid lug nut. It cannot corrode and swell, and also it's a unique shape, which makes it hard to steal or to tamper with the wheels. Also recommend for the summer season, any type of a road trip planned to get a good thorough inspection. Um, by you popping your hood, double checking fluid levels, belts and hoses, you know, that's a good evaluation. Um, but to have a trained technician look things over can kind of discover things that are possibly uh, undetectable, such as this radiator. This radiator actually caused an overheating condition and you can see the coolant has been seeping out and eventually actually drying um, in several locations uh, so it's been something that has been occurring over time, um, but eventually ultimately failed, which interrupted their trip. So something like this could definitely cause a problem while on a trip. So recommend a good thorough inspection to prevent this from happening to you. And that's our tech tip for this month. Any questions or comments, I appreciate any phone calls. It's 847-856-1420. Thank you.